Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 4, par 4 of the Gokasho Bay on tour number 10, the Club Oceania. I'm going to show you uh, how to play this hole in the best way possible. Here I'm actually going to change, I'm going to play with my quarterback and I'm going to stick with my power 2 ball. The reason I changed to the quarterback here as my third uh, bag is because I do not need any distance necessarily, especially not with Chainwind and... Um, and on this very short par 4. Uh, if I would be having crosswind or headwind, I would be changing and I would be playing with my extra mile, uh, as I do have in bag number 1 or bag number 2. You can of course play this one with an extra mile as well, or with whatever driver, and that's the reason I want to show you that you can actually play with a quarterback, and it's going to be more helpful for you in terms of uh, getting it to fairway, uh, so you don't have to struggle with judging like how far it's going to go with Tailwind, for an example. So for the second shot here, we're going to play that one slightly uh, downhill and also uphill. It's going to be a very weird... Uh, of course, we cannot play it the same way, but I'm going to play it just normal. I'm not going to add or subtract as the first part of it go uphill, then the down part is going to go downhill. Uh, and therefore, I'm just going to leave it for as it is. You can see 8.6. I'm going to play this one in this area here. And we're going to use, you can see, three and a half bar backspin. You can see my ball guidelines going through the pin. And the thing we're going to do here is I'm going to adjust this one for 8.6 rings. I'm going to go just a tiny little bit more. The thing that we do want to achieve here now, we did hit the ball great, but we do want to achieve a bounce here and then get to the pin and get it to stop fairly close. Now it came in just a tiny, tiny bit hot. It didn't have to compensate that much as we did, uh, but you can see the trick here. So to just summarize with the elevation, it's 10% downhill for the drive. It's then no elevation, either uphill or downhill for the second approach. And this is a part four where we will not see that many eagles. So just make sure that you have your drive on fairway so you can go for the pin in two. But don't be, uh, don't be mad if you do miss because then you will get another chance in the shootout. If you do want to get the text guide for tour number 10, then check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Good luck on tour number 10.